In today's video, I unveil a new project car. Hello everybody, I'm Patrick and this is Dad Life Projects. Today, I show you guys my brand new project car. Yes. Now, right now, we're in the middle of the quarantine here. I got this car back in January and I haven't really told anybody about it, so I'm pretty excited to get to finally tell people and, and show it off. The car itself, it is a 1961 Dodge Dart Phoenix. It's a car I've uh, never seen before in my life. So, uh, the videos you're gonna see is when I got it delivered back in January and me doing a walk around with it. So, enjoy. That's fine. Come out and stand right here. Be careful. Hold on, sis. That's a new car? Yeah. It's white. I know. Trouble. Why is it white, Dad? It just is. Show him how to put the block under the tire. Go see daddy, he's gonna show you how to put the block in and me and him are gonna let it go. Right 
in front of the yeah, tire. Right in front of the tire. That's what keeps it from rolling away. How's hers? Alright, go put that one on the other side, Matthew. Put it on the other side. How's hers? Okay. Yeah, dude. He's going to put his on the other side. In the He's rear. got his here. On the back tire, buddy. That's fine. This is a 1961 Dodge Dart Phoenix. I had never seen this car before. I've never seen this model car before. I've seen darts, of course. But this is an odd car. I've never seen the shape before. As you can see, it has a lot of patina on it, it has a lot of rust, but just mostly surface rust. As we go through, you can see all the rust here. And there is some rust right, right there. That's the worst. That's the worst rust of it now. I'm gonna figure out what to do with it. If I'm gonna replace it, cut it out, uh, just maybe stop it, and leave it like that. I don't know yet. Maybe you guys can leave a comment down below for me. And we can go around the back. You can see, there's more rust. I'll say surface rest. Let's go look inside. As you can see, of course, it needs a full interior. That's fine. As you look, now, what really drew me to the car was like the steering wheel, how futuristic it is, and the speedometer. I've never seen a speedometer like that. And all the different uh, knobs on there, and it has a push button. Uh, transmission very nice as you can see the floors are very solid they have a little surface rust but they are solid they're very solid let's see and it, and it has aftermarket air nice I hope it works <laughs> that would be nice let's go to the back here to the back seat as you see the same thing with these floors they are very nice. They are very nice. And also with the interior here. It needs to be redone, of course. Seals are good. Wow, look at the door. Panels aren't bad either. Nice, very nice. Let's go look underneath the Grill's very nice. It's different. It's well, it's not really different, I guess, but it's, I enjoy it. I think it's cool. This is a 318 small block. The owner told me there he's he's had a run before, but it looks like they put a new battery in it or a newer battery. It has power steering. There's a compressor for the air conditioning. You know, and, and all in all, I think it's just a little dirty car. You know, it's dirty. I'll get it going. I'll make it look good. I hope. Looks like a very good project car. Looks like they, yeah, they put new, uh, new spark plug wires, new distributor cap. Not bad. Let's go on to this side. You know, I couldn't get this door open. I think it must be locked from the inside and I didn't get a chance to do it. Let's go on this side. As we look inside, you can see, very strong, very nice. The, the trunk didn't come with the key. So that I'm going to have to figure out myself, I guess. But that's alright. I can do that. 
Why don't we take a look underneath? It, oh, and it also has all its glass, which is very nice when you have a car. This car's been sitting a long time. It doesn't even have the plates anymore. So, uh, let's look underneath. And as well you can see, it looks pretty solid. The drive line's been taken off so they could transport it. It's just tied to the exhaust. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all underneath there. Let's look underneath here. In the rear of it. Oh yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I don't see any leaks, so we, I'm gonna look and see if there's oil in it. That'd be fine. The dipstick, this is the first Dodge I've owned, so it might take me a minute to look for the dipstick, where it could be. Transmission. Also, go see if there's any transmission. Is it? There it is. It says it had a pint, but wow, it's really clear. And it don't smell burnt. Wow. I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised. I guess I am surprised because how long it sat. Oh, there it is. There's the oil. It does have oil, and it is up to the f full mark, and it does not look bad at all. Looks like there's no water, anything in it. Wow, not bad. Let's see. Let's see if there's any water in this thing. can't really see down there but it looks pretty dry so but, built on good decent shape it's got, oh that one's worn down some oh no yes that is worn we will have to replace all the belts for sure but of course that was gonna happen anyways That's going to do it for today's project. If you like any of the products used today, the links to the products are down below. If you like this video or any of my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at dadlifeprojects or email me at dadlifeprojects at gmail.com. Remember, for any project you do, you are the project manager. See you next time.